Hey guys. All right. What I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Sacrament of Confirmation. Now, Sacrament of Confirmation, if you're Catholic watching this video and you're a teenager, you probably have recently received the sacrament or you're preparing to receive the sacrament because in most dioceses in our country, uh, you receive confirmation in anywhere from 6th grade to 11th grade for the most part. So you're right in the middle of that, either just having prepared for it or you're currently preparing for it. And the reality is, is in a lot of situations, even with the preparation, people still don't really have much of an idea what it's all about. So I want to try to simplify it a little bit and at the same time excite you about what you either just received or are about to receive. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, make uh, several videos so that you'll be able to pick and choose the ones you want to see or if you want to just watch them straight through then just watch them one after the other and uh, when I put them up on YouTube and on the studentville.org website then what I'll do is I'll label them in order so you can either watch them all the way through or just watch them you know whichever one's interest you so what I want to talk about to make it kind of simple is that we all like to receive gifts and in the sacrament of confirmation we receive an outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit now we already received these seven gifts of the Holy Spirit at our baptism but in confirmation we receive them in a fuller outpouring in fact the church says that confirmation is like our personal Pentecost uh, and the seven gifts of the Spirit we find in the book of Isaiah, chapter 11. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, fortitude, piety, and fear of the Lord. They're different than the charismatic gifts. These are the sacramental gifts. There's a couple different kinds of gifts of the Holy Spirit. There's the charisms, or the charismatic gifts, and then there's the sacramental gifts. And the easiest way to try to understand the difference between the two, uh, according to what the church teaches us about it in the catechism, is that the charisms are given to us to upbuild the kingdom of God, to build up the church, to build up others. Easy way to remember that is, for instance, a gift of uh, the Holy Spirit that's a charism is a gift of healing. Now, if somebody really has the gift of healing, you don't see them walking around and going like, oh man, I've got a really bad headache. Woo! And I feel better. They don't heal themselves. The gift of healing is given so that they can heal other people. Other people can be edified by that. People can praise God for that. It's a witness of the power of God and the church is built up. On, on the contrast, by, uh, contrary, is that the sacramental gifts are given to us to help us to grow in personal holiness. It's to help us to be more open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our lives so that we can become ever closer to Jesus Christ. So what I want to do in the subsequent videos that you uh, can watch is I want to go through each of the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit so that you know what it is you're receiving and, and how you're going to be able to use that gift uh, in your life because grace is not magic. Uh, I had a professor, Dr. Mark Miravalli, uh, at Steubenville when I was there for a few years, and he said one time, saints are saints because they cooperate with grace. And so this grace we receive in confirmation is not magic, but it's uh, thrown by the Holy Spirit into our hearts, into our minds, into our souls, into our bodies, and then we have to cooperate with that grace. So I'm going to try to uh, explain briefly what each gift is and situations where it can help us uh, in our lives so that you'll be able to really accept uh, the, these gifts that the Holy Spirit is giving you in confirmation and you'll be able to put them into practice in your life right away and you'll see the fruit of the Spirit then flow out of your life as you cooperate with this grace and use the gifts of the Holy Spirit in your own life. Hope to see you at the next video. Take care. God bless.